Hey there, Algebra 2. Uh, this lesson is over the matrix multiplication, and I was going to do it a little bit differently than what Khan Academy did. Matrix multiplication is not as easy as the addition, subtraction, and the scalar multiplication. Okay, so hopefully you've covered those already. Um, there's a lot more involved, and we're going to use our calculator. So make sure you have a graphing calculator available. If not, uh, email me. I can send you a link. I believe I have some that you can actually download and just use on your calc on your computer. But uh, matrix multiplication, um, you have to look at the dimensions and order of the matrices being multiplied. Okay, so if you have let's say two matrices, and this has A rows and B columns, okay? So we have A rows and B columns, and we're multiplying it by something that has, it has to have B rows and C columns. Remember, it's rows by columns, rows by columns. These two values right here, in order to multiply these two, they have to be the same, okay? So those two numbers have to be the same in this order. These outside ones, this is, these are going to be the dimensions or the order of your answer. So if you take an A by B matrix, multiply with a B times C matrix, your final answer is going to be an A by C matrix, A rows and C columns. So I'm going to work one out by hand, and then I'll show you how to do some of this on the calculator. Okay, so let's say we have 1, 5, negative 3, 8, Two, four. So that's a two by three matrix. So that means I need to multiply it by, let's say, a three by one matrix. So this is four, negative two, and seven. So I can do this because these two are the same number. They have to be the same. Now my answer is going to be a two by one matrix. And what you do is you take your rows from this matrix times the columns by this matrix. So I'm going to take a row. This is row 1 and this is row 2. Here I just have one column, column 1. I have to take each row times each column. And what I do, now I start looking at individual points. Whenever I move over in a row, I have to move down. And I'm going to multiply those and then I add each part. So just for this first answer, two by one, I'm only going to have two answers here. So just for this first answer, I have to take one times a four, one times the four. I'm going to move over and I move down. I have to add five times a negative two. I move over, then I move down, and then I'm going to add a negative, so I'm going to minus the three times 7. It's a minus because it's a negative 3. If that was a positive, it would be a plus again. So 1 times 4 is 4. So I get 4 minus 10 minus 21. So negative 6, negative 27. That is my first answer right there. So all of that went right there. Okay, so negative 27. Here on the second one, I go down here. I start here on the left and I go back to the top here. So I have to take 8 times 4. So I'm starting at the left and top. 8 times 4 plus 2 times negative 2 plus 4 times 7. So notice I moved over and I moved down. So 8 times 4, 2 times negative 2, 4 times 7. So we got 32 minus 4, that's 28, plus 28, 56. And that would be your solution matrix. Okay, so you move over, you move down. Now on your calculators, <coughs> you have a matrix menu right there. So <clears throat> second there, go to matrix. I'm going to edit these matrices. Now if you already have dimensions here, numbers, that's okay. Just go to edit and you can change your dimensions here. So I need a two by three matrix. And notice it brings me a two by three matrix. Okay, I'm gonna enter these values here, pressing enter between each one. So one, or you can hit the right arrow. Maybe not, press enter. One, enter. Five, enter. Negative three, enter. 8, enter, 2, enter, 4, enter. Okay, so I've entered that matrix. 
I need to quit. I need to get out of here. Go back to the main menu. So second mode. Go back to matrix and I need to edit a second matrix, matrix B, and I need to put these values into matrix B. That is a three by one matrix. Four, enter, negative two, enter, seven, enter. Okay, four, negative two, seven. So it should look like that. So I'm ready for my multiplication. So if I take matrix A, so now I'm not going to edit, I'm just going to names, matrix A, enter, it brings it to my home screen, times matrix B, negative 27, 56. Okay, and that's absolutely right. It should be two rows and one column, I'm sorry. It should be negative 27, 56, like that. This is a one by two, not a two by one. Okay, negative 27, 56, I stand corrected. Go calculators. Okay, now notice if I do it the other way, if I try to take B times A, that's a three by one by two by three. It's gonna say uh, dimension error, something like that. So if I try to take B times A, dimension mismatch, it won't like that. So you notice mul matrix multiplication is not what they say is commutative. Okay, A times B does not always equal B times A. Now it can, but it doesn't always equal that. Okay, so that's pretty much it. If you can handle the calculator with it, uh, you can go in and you can edit these and you can change it to a four by three matrix. Okay, or you can change it back to a one by three matrix. So you don't always have to keep adding new matrices here. You can just use A and B the whole time and keep manipulating them as you need to. Okay, so that is matrix multiplication. Main thing is do not just multiply components. Okay, you have to be able to do the math, taking rows times columns and working it out. You can use your calculator. So that's it. Good luck. Uh, let me know what questions you have.